Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Exalt Ministries. Today we're going to be looking over I Still Believe by Jeremy Camp. Um, this song will be in the key of G sharp, so we'll be doing capo one, we'll be using G chords. Um, for this song, Jeremy Camp has done a couple different modifications to some chords um, to get the feel of the song. So we'll go through the chords real quick that we're going to use, including the intro and everything else. Um, the main chord you're going to be using throughout this whole song is going to be a D2. And that's going to be a mute, two, or sorry, mute, open, open, two, three, open. Um, the other chord is going to be a D2 over C sharp. What that basically means is the D2 is going to be the same. The C sharp means your lowest, your lowest note that you're going to play. So a D2 over C sharp, if, um, if you know any of your key of E chords, your C sharp is on your, starts right here on your fourth fret on your A string. So you're going to have a D2, and you're going to take your pinky and put it on your fourth fret of your A string. Remember, relative to the capo, so it'll actually be on your number five dot. Um, and so you're going to go from this to this. And that's going to be a D2 over C sharp, which is going to be a mute. Four, open, two, three, open. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, sound a little different. Um, the next one that we're going to be looking at is another D2 variant, and it's going to be D2 over F sharp. Um, since we have C sharp here, your F sharp's up here. That's going to be up here at your second fret of your, of your E string. Um, to accomplish this, you can do this one of two different ways. You can either do a normal D sharp and use your thumb and actually fret it instead of muting it. So you can do this. Or you could also take um, and switch your um, pointer finger. That's what I usually use um, for this one here. And use your middle finger instead and take your pointer finger and put up top. Um, same thing. The only difference is here is that you're going to be moving your fingers um, a little more versus if you just use your thumb, these two fingers will always be in the same spot. So anyways, I'm going to use my thumb for this one, and that is going to be a um, two, two, open, open, two, three, open. Remember to fret that. Okay, and then the next chord you need to know is a G2. Um, for the G2, um, you're going to notice on every single one of these chords, the main, um, I'm going to say, the main notes that are going to be played is the D2 shape. At least this um, note down here, which is your third fret of your B string. And that's going to actually be a, um, C, it's going to be a D note. So for a song that's mostly in D, it's going to be a D note. So we have D2. D2 over C sharp. Remember to mute the top when you do that so you get that um, the C sharp um, bass chord. D2 over F sharp. And a G2. Which is going to be a 3, 2, open, open, 3, open. So instead of your normal G, where it, your, your 3 is down here, you can move up 1 and put your 3rd there and leave the bottom open. So it's going to be this. Instead of this. And that is going to put together your intro as well as three quarters of your song. The other note we're going to have to learn is actually going to be a B minor. And in this case, it's going to be your D2 shape, like normal. Um, the only difference is this one you will have to switch your fingers around um, because you're going to have to fret your um, up here, if I can get on the camera, is going to be your second fret. A string, which is going to be, of course, your B. So it's like a D2 over B really would actually also be the same thing um, for this chord. We'll refer to it as a B minor. So if you're, um, you're fretting, or your fingers should be at a mute 2 open, 2 3 open. So we have um, normal 2 3 open, then we have a, um, a, um, a mute. Four open, two, three open. So we're going to have, like I said, this is we're based around a lot of the D2 shape. Um, and that is going to complete all of our chords. So we have a D2, a D2, 
B2 over C sharp, a D2 over F sharp. Remember fretting up here. And then you're going to have your G2, and then your B minor. All right, now that we got all these chords done, let's look at the intro. The intro is going to be D2, to D2 over C sharp, to D2 over F sharp, to G2. And it's going to repeat that, but on the it's going to repeat that once. But the G2 will be dragged out two more times on the end. So you're going to have D2, D2 over C sharp. Sorry, give me D2 over C sharp, D2 over F sharp, G2, and then we'll go back to your D2, D2 over C sharp, D2 over F sharp, and then your G2, G2. And G2 again. So three times. And that'll be kind of like the intro right into your first. And I'll play it and I'll go through the first line so you kind of get the gist of this because your your progression is extremely repetitive. So let me just play through this real quick. So as you see, the progression is going to be the D2 variants. It's going to be your D2, D2 over C sharp, D2 over F sharp, and G2. That's going to be your entire progression for the first two verses. That's all it's going to be is that for PD. Um, now, so let's um, let's look at a strum pattern real quick. Um, strum pattern will be below um, right now on your screen for this. But it's basically be... So let's be one, up, up. Then down, up, up, then down, up, up. See here. So that down is going to be on your chord change. And then remember D2, D2 over C sharp. D2 over F sharp and G2. All right, and that's going to be your first verse as well. Um, I'll just go through the first verse again real quick so you get a gist of where the chords are and how the um, song's played out. So. Scared words. this point you're going to go into the three chords which is going to be B minor um, and there's another chord I didn't go over sorry about that is a normal A is an A2 and that's going to be your mute open two two open open my bad um, actually for this variant because I want to keep this note down here the same what we're actually going to do is called an A sus2 at least I believe which is your A2 but you're going to take and you're still going to fret that D note, which is your third fret of your B string, is down here. And so instead of this, you're going to have this. So that way, when I'm going back and forth from my B minor to my A, I'm just switching this one note down. So I'm gonna. So your your actual A two or A sus two will be used in this case is going to be a um, a mute. Open two three or two two three open. All right, so we have go from the so we're gonna go now from the pre chorus in the B minor, and it's now to the, that A sus two that I feel to the G two. Your grace fall like rain back to the B minor. From every fingertip A washing away G my pain. Okay, so let me go this real quick. I'll do the last line of the first verse. Seems I don't know where to start. It's now that I feel graceful like rain. 
every fingertip Washing away my pain um, And then at this point, um, you are going to go, you're going to use D2 to your A2 your A sus2, which the nice part about this is it's not going to change too much um, tone-wise because you're already doing a D2 in your A sus2 because it's just one note difference. It's from this to this. It's like a brighter tone. And then G2. And that's going to be your chorus. It's going to kind of like this. And I still believe in your faithfulness. this point you can do the um, the intro and so on and so forth so intro can be also be intro. okay so now we go into verse two which our progression is almost the exact same as the interlude the exact same as the intro which is why the interlude and the verses go so well together it's like an intro and you just do the same um, progression now, um, let's skip right to the bridge real quick. Um, I will go through the verse two uh, and skip right to the bridge. The bridge is going to be B minor to the A sus two to the G two back to the A sus two um, four times over. So um, I'll go through the um, verse two and go right to the bridge. Oh, the questions fog up my mind the promises I still seem to bear Even when answers slowly unwind It's my heart I see you prepare Free course It's now that I feel Your grace fall like rain From every fingertip how to do I Still Believe by Jeremy Camp. Um, there are a few different chord versions out there, but um, they're a little older. Um, the reason I went through and made this tutorial is because um, recently, within the past couple of years, um, somebody won a personal concert from Jeremy Camp and he did this song. And while doing that, I was able to look at his chords and figure out which ones he was using. So, that is, um, that is officially how Jeremy Camp actually played. 
replace this on some other ones called Pernisa 7. And I've tried that, and it does not fit at all. Um, D, the D, um, D2 variants um, fit very nicely in the song. Thank you very much for watching. You can 